Hi, Pisces. This means you want right away. G1 Insights, and I am doing your life and love energy for the month of June 2019. Please check your birth chart for clarity if this reading does not resonate with you because it is a general reading, so it may and it may not, okay? Please also share this message around the world because everyone deserves to hear this message. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like what you hear and see. All right, let's get into it. So, Pisces. I feel like you water signs are going through this phase of receptivity and patience, right? But for you, Pisces, it goes a bit deeper than that. Just because your ruling planet, Neptune, has been just hanging around your sign and it's going to be in your sign for a while. So it has had you kind of like daydreaming a lot lately. Like, not in a bad way, but in a way that's causing you to have like rose colored glasses on. You get what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like this is a time for you to kind of face reality like again not in a bad way but just kind of face reality of whatever situation you may have been dealing with or um i feel like the storm is over for all of you water signs but i feel like you have not really been feeling that way i feel like you're just looking at what is and not what's going to be um kind of thing like you're just being stuck on the past and just in la la land like no that's not going to work. This is not going to happen. Kind of being really pessimistic. You know what I mean? And so I feel like the universe just kind of want to wake you up in for a little while. Like kind of just um, wake you up to a new dimension. You know, so you can gather your thoughts and maybe get back on track. On track, excuse me. <laughs> get back on track with your creativity. Allowing your creativity to flow. Um, and that's really huge for all of you water signs, really. Your creativity has been blocked for a lot of you. And I feel like this is the perfect season for you to kind of get that balance back in your life. Where um, you're not daydreaming so much anymore. Where you're more focused on, um, you know, having that balance back in your life. Working, going to school. You know, you can have your hobbies and you can do the things that you love to do, but a lot of you haven't really been doing that. You've just been kind of just in la-la land, just <laughs> whatever happens, happens, you know, and then blaming yourself for it happening. So we have to get you out of that phase and back into the reality of really, truly being happy and not trying to force the happiness. You get what I'm saying? Like, really allow yourself to have that happiness where... Um, And no distractions. I just heard distractions. Like, we have to get rid of those distractions as well, right? Like, so those people that just come into your life that want to distract you with meaningless, meaningless conversations or um, with a lot of drama or negativity, I feel like a lot of you don't even want to associate yourself with um, the opposite sex because you feel, not the opposite sex, with the same sex, for example. Um, so if you're a Pisces woman, you may feel like you don't really want to hang around too many women lately because you feel like they are filled with a lot of drama they cause a lot of headache you know and really while neptune is in your sign he will feel that way because neptune just want you to be in la la land doesn't want you to face reality and the thing is if something was done wrong or if you did something wrong then this is the perfect time for you to face it you get what i'm saying this is the perfect time for you to really follow up um, and kind of make amends with people, you know, like if something was done wrong or if something has been out of place, then this is the perfect time for you to work on it and to fix it, to address that issue. Okay. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, the storm is over. Okay. The storm is over. And, and I mean that in the most sincere way. Okay. You have to get back to the point where there is balance with your creativity, Oh, these mosquitoes been bothering me like all evening, okay? So this is a perfect time. <laughs> this is a problem. One of my videos, I actually smacked one down, I think. <laughs> all right, so anyway, um, this is a perfect time for you to really bring that balance back into your life. Focus on your creativity, your family, freedom, your finances, okay? And I feel like there's an opportunity here for you as well. And I feel like you haven't really been, you know eager to even hear the opportunity because um you are allowing other pessimistic people to put in your head that it's not going to work out or that you can't do something and that's not true okay um so first of all we have to get you away from those negative people 
take away the distraction because maybe that's what the, the uh, distraction is. Okay, we have to get rid of that and, and get you back to your spiritual, intuitive, creative you. We have to get you back to that that space where you could be spiritual, you can be creative, where you can be yourself without any judgment um, or criticism from anybody else. You don't need that. Like, that's like the last thing that you need right now. You don't need any more negativity. Okay, I feel like you guys have been going through enough. And the last thing you need is much more negativity. Like, you don't need that. Okay, so first thing for you, Pisces, is balance. You have to bring that balance back, okay? Overall, by the, the second, no, about the third week of June, there will be clarity because the sun is going to go into your sister sign, Cancer, and that's going to shed a lot of light on your partnerships, your finances, you know, your communication with others. That's going to really open up some doors for you. So try to be... Um, mindful of how you treat others and be mindful about who you um, talk to or gossip with or communicate with. Try to be very cautious about those things because again, Neptune has had these or will be having these um, rose colored glasses on you and it's going to make you feel like a person is being genuine when they're not or it's going to make you feel like... Um, Someone is in your corner when they're really not, I guess. So just be mindful about who you're sharing your personal business with. Be mindful who you're being open to because trust me, the ones that you, um, it's always the ones that you think you can trust where you can't really trust them. So be very, very cautious, okay? When it comes to love also, there has been some minor hiccups along the way for like the past few months. There has been some type of hiccups along the way. But the universe is telling you that it's time, again, to take those rose-colored glasses off and to kind of bring that balance and harmony back into your marriage or back into your relationship of some sort, okay? Even in your partnerships, okay? A lot of you are really considering to really... Um, or you have been considering to really leave someone alone, okay? And this, it doesn't, I don't feel like this is just in a relationship. I feel like this could even be um, in a partnership, like even maybe at work. Maybe you just want to separate yourself from someone because you don't like their negativity, okay? Um, but for some of you, this is a season where you may want to just completely let it go, okay? For some of you, you may be dealing with an air sign like a Gemini um, or... Um, Either a Gemini, or for some of you, this could be, I want to say Libra, but I don't I don't feel that one too strongly. I feel more like a Gemini. Um, but if you are a Libra, maybe you have Pisces energy within your birth chart, or if you are a, um, or maybe you're dating a Gemini, or maybe you're dating a Libra, right? Or maybe you'll have one of those signs in your birth chart. I just feel like communication has to be a bit more um, logical and not emotional. I feel like you've been dealing with things on the more uh, emotional side, and it's not your fault. Again, with Neptune being in your planet so much, I mean, being in your sign so much, it's not really your fault. You can't help it. You've been so um, in tune to all the pessimistic things around you, like all the negativity. Um, and it's not saying that you're starting up any negativity it's just that you have to break away from it because it's causing confusion um somehow between your finances or within your home perhaps okay so just stay away from people that seem a little flaky or a little off you get what i'm saying now going towards the second week of june I feel like you will have that clarity. Like, you will be back at that spiritual space, okay? Um, you will be a bit more content with the way that life is going. But that first week of June is ugh, for a lot of people. <laughs> that first week of June is icky for a lot of us, okay? It's never really a good time during any first week of any month. I don't know if you guys pay attention, but... The first week of any month is never good, okay? We always have to wait at least until the second or third week before we can really, really feel it. You know what I'm saying? Because we will have that full moon in Sagittarius. That's also going to put a spin on some things, okay? Um, so just kind of be more, um, try your best to tap into your spirituality a bit more this season. That's what I would say. Maybe pray a bit more, do some spiritual um 
practices, like some rituals of, of some kind, do some positive spells, right? Like some, maybe some love spells or friendship spells. Do something that can really, really help ease your mind. And if you guys need help with that, I'm more than happy to assist you, okay? But guys, I do have to go, so please comment below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know how you feel. Please share this message around the world because everyone deserves to hear this message. Please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the love and support, and I will see you guys at a later time. Bye.